all over the world. Everything gradually changing. In different country, places, corner are at the same time developing. In a way of human population, technologies, and economies. This increases the demand of human everyday needs. The modern world we are living, the current world we are taking. It is the overview of relationship, technologies, economy, political, population, wealth, conflicts, and power around the world. Global demography is one of the examples of the contemporary world. Global demography, as the name implies, focuses on the population of the entire world rather than just one particular nation, region, or city. Every area of our life is impacted by demography, including the global economy, social policy, urban planning, and climate change. Rural families, they believe that the more children, the better it will be for the farms or the small ability in the corner enterprises. Rural families believe that having many children is having higher chances in being rich because rural parents expected their child to continue their obligations as a parent to the other siblings. Without knowing, this might be a hindrance for them instead of motivation. Inflation is a broad increases of prices both goods and services. There are many reasons we are experiencing inflation. Increasing of wages, production cost, supply drain, disruption, and political issues. Industrialization. It is a development brought by urbanization which is usually pertains buildings and machineries. One of the best examples of industrialization is Davao City. The first building in Davao City to be developed as a result of its infrastructure was the Marco Polo, which also happened to be the city's first tallest building. As a result of the city's current influx of investors, its population is expanding. Davao City is suffering significant traffic as a result of the city's growing population and the fact that both individuals are purchasing private vehicles than public ones. What is the importance of the contemporary world? Contemporary world is important to study because it addresses topics and challenges pertaining to the environment, population, wealth, power, and disputes and tensions. Therefore, we gain critical thinking skills, broaden your worldview, and become aware of how human activities affect civilizations. We feel and see the popular day society. That's why we see many different skyscrapers. However, we people is the interest why buildings multiply. Are we okay with it? Does it suffocate our society? If it is a harmful to human, then why we tolerate it?